on KDKA TV. And a very good morning to you. Thanks for spending part of your Sunday morning with us. What makes a community special? When political and civic leaders join forces to give a boost to programs, people, and goals that are vital to the success and survival of a community. The Pittsburgh Foundation is a very important part of this community's success. It recently received its own boost with the second largest gift in its 73 year old history. Raymond Schubert Suckling, an engineering executive, designated $37.5 million to the Pittsburgh Foundation to be given to the Sewickley Valley Hospital Foundation and the Sewickley Public Library. Maxwell King, president and CEO of the Pittsburgh Foundation, joins us now on the Sunday Business Page to talk about this gift and significant projects that the foundation is working on to improve the quality of life here in Pittsburgh. Max, it's always great to have you on the show. Nice to be with you, John. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for all the leadership you provide here in Pittsburgh. It's much, much appreciated. Uh, I want to start first. We're going to talk about this gift, but I want to start first with the Pittsburgh Foundation because you are unique among foundations, it seems to me, in the way in which you gather together a number of different gifts and bequests in the foundation community. Can you explain how this works? Yes, as as a community foundation, we are different than a lot of other than private or family foundations. And part of what we do, we have an unrestricted pool of grant making, but an awful lot of what we do, most of what we do, is through donors and donor advised funds. Mm -hmm. So people with $10,000 or $37 million right. come and start a fund at the Pittsburgh Foundation. They uh, have a chance not only to express what they're interested in, and our staff works with them to realize some of their goals and their, their objectives, um, but we involve them very intensively in our work. We involve them with the research department, the program and policy department, the communications department. Now, not every donor wants that intense involvement, sure. but those who do get a chance to do that. And so uh, we're a public charity uh, that acts like a foundation in many respects, but sort of acts like a, a whole group of community uh, leaders, families from the community, who care about the welfare of the Pittsburgh region and work together to I, advance see, it. See, I love this idea. So if my family decided that we wanted to set aside $10,000, I mean, we're not talking, it doesn't have to be millions. No, I, uh, Peggy, my wife and I started a fund there uh, 10 years ago, and we started with $10,000. And then as opportunities come along, we build it up. And I think right. that's, that's what Raymond Suckling did, uh, from whom we got that $37 million right. gift very recently. He started with about fifty or sixty thousand in a fund to honor his parents, and then the relationship built, and his commitment built, and and he added to it, and uh, it's it's come uh, to be, as you said, the second biggest bequest uh, we've ever gotten. I, you know, I have to ask as a yeah. as a journalist, I I'm going to have to ask, <laughs> what's the number one? Uh, the number one is uh, about ten years ago, uh, the Kaufman. Uh, family oh, yes. uh, bequeathed fifty million dollars, forty million of which is for scientific research, and we manage the program that allocates grants for right. scientific research. That's great. So this particular award from from uh, Mr. Uh, Suckling, uh, did he designate that he wants it to go to these two entities in yes. Swickley? Is that how he, he got to, he gets he, to do that? I guess. Oh, of course. He specified three uh, targets for his philanthropy. Uh, the Sewickley Library, the hospital in Sewickley, and the Pittsburgh Foundation. The entire corpus comes to us and we administer it. Right. But as we do our grant making each year, which will probably be at least one and a half million dollars a year from this fund, maybe more than that, our total grant making is probably about 45, 50 million dollars a year. Right. Uh, as we uh, do, do the grant making, about $500,000 will go to the library every year. About $500,000 will go to the hospital every year. And then he designated for us to administer um, $500,000 each right. year or more, eventually, probably a lot more, right. in grants to help people who are in poverty in the region around Sewickley. Uh, this particular grant, $37.1 million, I think is, is the number, and I yes. misstated it earlier. Um, the fact is that, that all of these grants together that you administer at the Pittsburgh Foundation, 
they really help some very worthy causes in this area. And I think it's if uh, we've got folks who are watching who think that maybe they'd like a little bit of this pot of money for the worthwhile cause they're engaged in, is that a hard process to go through? Not a bit. We encourage people to come in. Uh, Yvonne Maher, our, our executive vice president, the development and donor services staff, and people often come in and meet with her or somebody on, on her staff. And uh, I think we make it easy. We often meet with uh, not just a donor, but several members of a family that are interested. And we try to set up a mechanism through which the whole family can right. come together, think about their philanthropic goals, and work with us to achieve them. And so do you have any idea, Max, I'm sure you do, how many different organizations benefit from the Pittsburgh Foundations, from the monies it, you administer? It depends from year to year, but sure. hundreds of organizations get grants. I, I would say thousands of organizations because in our, in our administration of our unrestricted grant making, we focus on Allegheny County and there are hundreds of organizations right. over a period of several years that we fund. But we have 2,000 donor advised funds and they're making grants all over the world. They're making right. grants around the United States wow. uh, and uh, in India, in South America, all over the world. Now predominantly it's in our region. Uh, but there are literally thousands of organizations. And, and I know we've been putting up on the screen, it's pittsburghfoundation.org. Uh, that's where people can go to get information exactly. about and they this. Can, they can get the information uh, on how to contact us and how to advance an idea. So we only have about a minute or so left, and I, I, having you on the show as one of our, our community leaders, I wanted to ask you about the Amazon situation. Are, are you guys involved in trying to make this happen for Pittsburgh. The foundation community, it would seem to me, would be an yeah. important reason why Amazon should come here. Well, the foundation community has been very involved in working with the city, uh, PNC Bank, and others who... Pittsburgh Foundation has not, because we tend to focus on vulnerable populations, our 100% Pittsburgh program, and we don't focus so much on economic development. But the foundation community at large has played a big role in trying to help advance it. Um, I have mixed feelings about it. I think it, in many ways it can be great to have a company like Amazon here, a tremendous boost to Pittsburgh. But I do worry a little bit about the displacement of people in poor neighborhoods. Yes. I worry a little bit about um, crowding some of our people who are here right now out of jobs. And I, I'm certainly not a naysayer. I think it can be a good thing. It can be a powerful right. thing for Pittsburgh. Uh, but I do have concerns, as I think a lot of people do. Well, I think it's good that we have your voice, you know, reminding people of that, because I think sometimes we, we do look at through our rosy glasses here, rosy colored glasses, and tend to think everything is hunky dory if Amazon were to choose here. It, it will create lots of issues. There's no question about it. Well, we, we've got a fabulous community in the middle of a fabulous renaissance, but we do have to worry about the part of the population that needs help to participate in this great renaissance. Well, we're all very fortunate in having uh, Maxwell King and the Pittsburgh Foundation to help us worry about that and thank to do you. things thank about it. So Max, much, thank John. you, sir, very thank much. You. It's always great to have you on the show. Good to much be appreciated. When the Sunday business page continues, stirring up the ingredients for economic development in the baking business in the Mount Oliver, Knoxville area, the story of the bakery society.